Welcome to another tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you what happens when some of your option buttons might be missing their option value property when you're trying to put them inside of an option group. Here's a question that comes to me from one of my students, Leo, regarding Access Expert Level 4, Lesson 2. In this lesson, we created an option group with some different option buttons in it. We started out with male and female being option values minus 1 and 0. Then we copied one of these option buttons and created an unspecified button and gave it an option value 1. Now, Leo sent me an email saying that he did exactly what I did in the video. However, he doesn't have the option value property over here in the property sheet. Let me show you exactly what's happening. If you click on one of these guys, like unspecified, copy and paste, just control C and control V without doing anything, you should see the option value here. It creates a new option button. You may see this little warning, as I mentioned in the video. It says duplicate option value. That's because both of these are set to one. I'll just hit ignore this error. Then I'd come in here and change the label to another option and then give it a different option value. Let's, let's say two, because that one's not being used. Now, Leo's saying he doesn't see this option value at all. Here's why. I'm going to delete this guy. Click delete. Here's what I think Leo did. If you click on this option group and copy it, control C, and then click off of the option group and paste it, control V. Now what happens is this option button gets pasted in, but it's not part of the option group. Notice there's no option value over here. It's a standalone option button. It needs to be inside of this option group. Just copying and pasting it adds it to the option group. But if you click out here, for example, or right click out here and go to paste, it gets pasted in as a separate standalone option button. So what you need to do is get rid of this one, pick one of these guys, and then control C, control V, and now it's part of the option group. And now you can see there's an option value property. It's kind of like labels, right? These labels over here are bound to these text boxes. So if I move the text box, the label sticks with it. If you cut it out and then click somewhere else and paste it, now it's a separate standalone label. It's not bound to that text box anymore. Well, these buttons work the same way. And I should have mentioned this in the video, but it skipped my mind at the moment. These option buttons are bound to the option group. So if I create a new one, if I just copy and then click over here and paste, it comes in as a standard separate standalone option button. And if you look, most of its properties are different too. See, it's still an option button. It's got all these extra properties, whereas this one has fewer properties. It's part of the option group, and the group itself has some of those properties, like control source. Now, you can do the same trick that you can do with labels. If you want to bind this label back to the text box, what you can do is cut it out, control X, click on the text box and paste it. And now it is now connected again to the text box. The same trick works for option buttons. If you have an option button that's out here and you want to put it inside of this group, cut it out, control X, click on the option group's border, and then paste it in, control V. And now you'll see it's part of the option group. So that's how option buttons work if you want to make sure they're part of a group. And if you have an option button that is missing the option value property, that's why. So thank you, Leo, for bringing this to my attention. And of course, if any of you have any other questions about my lessons or tips, please feel free to send them to me on my website. Thanks for watching.